Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello, everybody. Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is going to be a barrel of laughs, this match review, isn't it? Arsenal 4, Norwich City nil. We've had some terrible results this season, but this one is right up there. Norwich City... I've seen a lot of negativity on, on Twitter, and it is justified. This Norwich City team are going to be going down. Um, and it was it was a performance in which a lot of people are saying this, this team have got no effort, no, no character. Um, you know, I, I thought we put a little bit of effort in. I, I, I thought we defended well at times, particularly the first 30 minutes. And we came out the second half looking OK. But what this Norwich City team is, is they're so fragile at the back. And all it takes, they just... We've seen so many times this season when Norwich City can defend OK as a unit, but then they just give away so many silly goals. And uh, yeah, you can't defend that performance. It was terrible. Yes, there's effort. But as we've seen so many times this season, this team is just simply not good enough. And it's embarrassing for the fans um, who, who are watching this because I, I think as Norwich City fans, we, we've deserved better than, than what we're being given at the moment. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, Yes, talking about this game, and there's going to be a massive inquest at the end of the season as to where things have gone wrong, because you can look at people like Delia, people like Weber, people like Farquhar, and the players all having a, a, a part to play in this, um, in this what has been a really disappointing season, because the championship title winning season was so good, but this season we've just lacked any kind of quality. And, you know, Norwich City have gone behind, I think, 19 times this season in the league, and all 19 times we've failed to... We've lost every single game, not even got a point. That is utterly embarrassing. And as I said, this team puts in effort. They start with the game plan, but when they're up against it, when they go 1-0 down, there's just a lack of fight and a lack of ideas. Um, yeah, really disappointed by this one because it's just absolutely gutted. I mean, if you look at if there's any kind of positive news, it's that all the other teams around us are pretty crap as well. Talking at the start of lockdown, we're saying that Norwich City need five wins from their last nine games. The way teams are playing, Norwich City probably need four wins. Um, but look, we haven't won a game since lockdown and we don't really look like winning a game. Um, yeah, really, really disappointing. And um, yeah, <laughs> Norwich City are going to need at least at least four wins. And you just, the way, the, way, the way they're so fragile at the back, you don't see it coming. Looking at the game... Abamyang started um, and, and got two goals. Abamyang didn't really have to work for those two goals. It was quite simple. Um, and, you know, the, the, the first goal as well, Tim Krull, who without a doubt has been our player of the season. And I, have, I don't really blame Tim Krull for this because without him, we would we'd be rock bottom, let's face it. Um, we're, we're probably around 10 points. I mean, we're rock bottom anyway, but just... It probably sums up how the season's gone. Our best player making a silly error and Aubameyang makes it 1-0. Um, we did have a really good chance before that. Ben Rocket, Ben Godfrey with an absolute rocket of a strike. It's a really good strike. 35 yards out. Hits it so cleanly, so crispy. A good ping towards the goal. And um, it hits the hits the post. Um, and then, as, as we've shown, Norris is you can defend well as a unit. But when they're up against it, they don't have that character to get back into games. And uh, a simple goal, Abamangang slides it into Granit Xhaka, who puts the shot uh, through the legs of Tim Krul. And Norris to go into the go into um, half time 2 0 down, not particularly playing terribly, but just Arsenal didn't play well and they were 2 0 up. And as I said, Norris is gifting goals. It was so poor. Second half, we started with Hernandez and Ida coming on, who gave us a bit of an injection of pace. I think those two have got to start against Brighton. Um, it completely changed the dynamic of the team. And Josip Dermic, probably one of the Norwich City's worst what worst signings, I think, in, a, in certainly recent history. A pathetic pass, an absolutely pathetic pass. This is a Premier League striker who's playing a ball across the, his own 18-yard box. It's absolutely pathetic. I mean, some of the goals we defend, uh, we conceded in this game is Sunday league level. It's, it's humiliating, it's embarrassing, but Josip Dermic... Straight through, <laughs> straight through across the 18 yard box, and a Babingang who didn't particularly have to play well makes it 3 0. And then Master make it 4 0. Really good strike, actually, from Cedric, uh, their full back from 25 yards out. And yeah, that's about it, really. I think Norris City, I've seen a lot of negativity on Twitter, and that is understandable because, and I've seen a lot of people saying this team don't care and they don't show effort. I think that's wrong. I think they do show effort. But what they don't show is, is, is any real quality. And, and, and that comes down to probably our short-term recruitment being poor. 
you could put some blame towards Daniel Farker that with the injury crisis we've had, I, I would want Daniel Farker to stay at Norwich City. I think we're still trying to play a good style of football, just in the Premier League, you can't do it. And yeah, another Norwich City team, and another time Norwich City get to the Premier League, and another t another time where we don't show the quality to stay up, and um, that's been a recurrent thing with Norwich City in the Premier League. They don't really go hand in hand, do they? Um, I think I'm going to end the match review here, but really, I think, as I said, Josip Dermic was, was terrible when he came on, and for me, you've got to start Adam Eder from now to the end of the season. I think Mario Rancic has got to start. Kenny, Kenny McLean played another full 90 minutes. I really don't know how Kenny McLean keeps starting every single game. Um, he just he doesn't offer anything, really doesn't offer anything. And someone like Mario Rancic deserves an opportunity. Um, as I said, defensively, we looked OK. I thought Teddy did an OK job there, but we're far better with Teddy in, in the central defensive midfield spot than um, someone like Tom Tribal. Backline did OK. As I said, all the youngsters probably were our better players. But yet again, there's a complete lack of there's, there's so much fragility um, with Norwich City, and we can play okay in parts in games. I'm not saying we're playing well. Play okay parts in games, and then gift teams really stupid goals. Um, yeah, ending the match review here. Arsenal four, Norwich City now embarrassed um, by the Gunners. We'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. Three games coming up against all teams around us: Brighton, West Ham, and Watford. And Norwich City simply have to win them all, but. At the very least, I just want to see a Norwich City team who are starting to score goals and, and play with a bit more confidence because you don't want Daniel Farker to lose the dressing room as we go into the championship season, which it looks like we're heading into. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.